All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. Let's get into some NFL football action for Saturday little weird slate. We have three Saturday games in the NFL. We're going to start with the noon game. It's going to be the Vikings going up against the Bengals. The Bengals minus three at home over under 40 and a half points. Trey, who do you like? Yeah, it even went down a half point. I was at minus three and a half earlier. I'm going to buy a half point and take the Bengals here at minus two and a half. It's very expensive to buy that half point. Um, so if you don't want to do that, just take them here minus three. Uh, the Vikings, they're starting Nick Mullins here in this game. I have no confidence in his ability to move the ball down the field. He's just not a good pro. And, come, and then compound that with Alexander Madison being reeled out in this game for the Vikings and Justin Jefferson being questionable. He had to take a quick trip to the hospital. He's probably going to play for this game, but in my opinion, he's not going to be at full strength. I just have a lot of confidence here with the Bengals here at home. Jake Browning, he's looked more than capable to get his playmakers the ball, and that should happen consistently through this game. So I'm going to take the Bengals at minus 2.5, and, and player prop-wise, I'm going to take Jamar Chase over his receiving yards, whatever it comes out at. I expect Chase to get the Adams treatment that he got on Thursday night. Adams, he almost finished with 100 receiving yards in that game. Basically, every pass was going his way, and I expect the same thing for Jamar Chase throughout this game. Yeah, two things before, uh, Nate, you go. One, Justin Jefferson is 100% playing. I got the inside scoop on Tuesday. He was shopping, Christmas shopping with the kids. He said, uh, one of the kids said, are you going to play this weekend, Mr. Jefferson? He said, yes, son, I am going to be playing. So he is going to be on the field Sunday. I don't know if he's going to be 100%, but he's going to be on the field or Saturday um, but Nate, I'm going to let you give a pick and I'm going to get my pick. Give me Bama. No, <laughs> I don't, I, this game stinks. Like I, like if I could pick them both to lose, I would, but obviously I would have to go with the Cincinnati Bengals. Like you said, I can't, I can't trust Nick Mullins to move a ball and, and Jake Brown and looking like he's becoming his own little star. I feel like this is going to be a letdown game, but I'm not willing to bet it. I'm just going to do Bengals minus three if I had to pick. And then for my prop, I'm going to go over Joe Mixon receiving yards. I don't know why it's still down at 26 and a half. Um, last four weeks, he has been over 40 for sure. And he's always the check down option. And he's been making good use of these targets and these receptions. Like, I don't understand how you can see a backup quarterback is in and not press over on the running backs passing, I mean, receiving our sorry. So I'm going to go Bengals. I'd rather just do money line, but I guess I'll take Bengals minus three and a half and give me Joe Mixon over receiving yards. Yeah, Joe Mixon's been tearing it up receiving. I feel like he's gotten that on the first drive in some of these games. But uh, I think this is a trap game for the Bengals. This is kind of a loser leaves town game. I mean, both teams are sitting at, what, seven and six. So whoever wins has a really good chance to make the playoffs. Whoever loses is basically out. I'm going to take the Vikings with the points. I don't think either team should be favored. Uh, three and a half feels weird with Nick Mullins. I feel like Cincinnati should be like six and a half, seven even maybe, especially the way they've been playing. Justin Jefferson back. Uh, I like TJ Hawkinson in this game with Nick Mullins. They've got a good connection. I like him to go over his receiving yards, over his catches. Nick Mullins' security blanket is TJ Hawkinson, so that's going to work in this game. Um, yeah, just just a bad game on a Saturday. Uh I mean, I'm happy we have the NFL, but I really don't want to watch that game. I want to watch the bowl game. So let's move on to the next game. This one I'm going to watch because this one's going to be interesting. We're going to see what both these teams are made of. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers going up against the Colts. The Colts minus one and a half. The over-under is 42 and a half. Nate, you want to start us off here? Uh, I don't even think – hold on. I'm just checking real quick. I don't think I want to go with a side. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to see what the totals are for both teams. Steelers is at 20 and a half, and the Colts are at 21 and a half. Oh, the Steelers being at 20 and a half seems like a trap. Like, I feel like you have to take it over, just like the Patriots the other day being at 16 and a half. The Raiders just took them under 18 and a half. They scored 63. So I feel like Steelers, whose offense freaking sucks at 
20 and a half, I'm going to have to take that over. I'm a, if, it, if it's a trap, call me a rat. I'm going to get caught. I'm going to take the Steelers over 20 half. I feel like maybe they figure something out. They realize, listen, they're a very beatable team. I'm not sure if they come out with the win, but at least they try, you know, some efforts, get their offense rolling. Hopefully their receivers get it together because I don't know what these dudes got going on. I don't know what attitudes came into them. Horrible attitude. Yeah, they need to relax, catch some touchdowns, feel happy, do some dances. Like I said, I don't really care if they win the game, but three touchdowns, I mean, that seems pretty reasonable to me. So give me that. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of people are blaming Mr. Trubisky, and I think that's not right because they've scored 18 points and 10 points. And, I mean, that's bad, but that's how the Steelers have been all season long. They've allowed 24 points and 21 points to the Cardinals and the Patriots. So the defense is at fault here. I think the defense picks it up here. I'm going to take the Steelers plus the one and a half. Don't shake your head at me. And I'm going to take the under in the game, under for the Colts total. So three plays for me, Pittsburgh Steelers plus one and a half under for the entire game and under for the Colts team total. I don't know what to tell you guys. I I mean, if, if I'm hearing what's coming out of your guys' mouths, I don't even know if you guys have watched a single Steelers game, oh especially the last <laughs> one. Even Trubisky, sucks. He looked terrible. He was getting booed after every No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's bad, but I don't think the leap from Kenny Pickett to Mitch is that significant. Like, it's not that far apart, right? No, and I think that's more of an outlier on, on what Kenny Pickett is and what Mitch Trubisky is. I mean, the defense has allowed 45 points to the Patriots and the Cardinals. And we also watched the Raiders. We didn't think they was going to put up 63. The NFL is getting confusing at this point. Yeah, if it's it not marquee really games. Mm. But it's hard to just look at the box score and say, okay, the Steelers allowed 30 <laughs> points to the whatever. It's, in, yeah, yeah, it's very yeah. hard whenever they have to be out on the field every other minute. They're, it's just three and outs for the Steelers team. You know, That's why my game pick is going to be – the Indianapolis Colts here on the money line, minus 125. I just don't have confidence in the Steelers' offense. They don't look like a playoff team. Meanwhile, this Colts team, they're playing competitive football, and that's going to continue in this game. I probably would have took just whichever team is at home here because uh, there's not very much difference mm-hmm. between these two teams here, in my opinion. But with the Colts being at home, I just have a lot more confidence in them. And I have to have a lot more confidence in Gardner Minshew than Mitch Trubisky or Mason Rudolph, whoever the Steelers end up throwing out there at quarterback. I have a lot more confidence in this Colts team, they look a lot more connected than this Steelers team. Big Ben came out and said that I, I don't know what this Steelers team is. They don't know what it's like to wear the black and gold. They don't know what it is to be a Steeler. I guess I didn't pass that down to Kenny Pickett. And, you know, Mike Mike Tomlin did not like that. He uh, voiced his displeasure at a press conference. There's a lot going on in that building. Give me the Colts here. And then player prop wise, I'm going to go with Allen Robinson under 14 and a half receiving yards. I really love this under. It's very low. But Robinson, he's only caught 10 balls on the road this season. He'll be very lucky to catch one. He plays primarily in the slot, and that's where he's going to get matched up with Kenny Moore. So he's not going to catch a ball in this game. So I love the Colts, and I love Allen Robinson under. Guys, the Steelers suck. I'm sorry. Uh, They allowed 303 to the Patriots and 289 to the Cardinals. Uh, Total yards on defense. Is that Okay, now look at the time. I don't even know. I could be very wrong, but I I could easily say, look at the time of possession. I don't know what the time of possession is in that game, but I would have to assume that the Steelers did not have the ball very long in that game. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a prop on prize picks, but if it is for the people watching, I'm going to take Gardner Minshew to throw an interception in this game, and I'm going to take Mitch Trubisky to throw an interception in this game. So uh, (laughs) I I just – again, this game's going to be decent, I think, but both these quarterbacks aren't great. Gardner Minshew is definitely a backup quarterback. He's he's, – He's taking too much time in the regular season as a starter, so I think he's due for an interception in this game. But well, Trey, uh, both of those players are minus one forty for you. So oh my uh, God, uh, I think that's a perfect parlay right there. Honestly, parlay <laughs> both those minus one forty, and it's in it's a great cash. That's actually like, insane uh, that they're both minus one forty. I want to add that Mitchell. I like that interception, Mitchell Trubisky only though, because I want to do over on Gardner Minshew's passing yards. I feel like if they're gonna mm-hmm. try to play any type of good game, uh, Steelers defense is pretty. Rock solid, but like I said with Bailey Zappi, every quarterback has gone over pretty much 200 yards on the Steelers' defense, and Garden Minshew knows how to throw that ball. So I'm going to give him over, and I love Mitchell Trubisky one interception. I think he throws that on, like, the third drive of the game. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Minshew does sling it around. But, uh, yeah, uh, again, a Saturday game that we'd probably rather be watching college football, but it is what it is. Um, this is going to be a good game. Uh, the, game of the, day, the game of the day probably Saturday night. 
The Denver Broncos going on the road to take on the Lions. The Lions have not looked great. The Broncos are red hot. Nate, what do you think in this game? I love the analysis earlier when you was talking about how the Broncos going to win out, but this game right here is why it's plus 1,100. Lions are home. I got to take the Lions minus four and a half. Like, I feel like if it was a chance for Russell Wilson to surprise people, it'll be at three and a half. I'll probably go with you. But four and a half, Jared Goff is at home. They've been so trash. They're coming off, like, two bad losses. I'm not sure if they lost their last. I know they lost to the Bears. Mm-hmm. Very bad. And the Packers. Yeah, two last games, right? Yeah. Packers, Bears, yeah. No way they lose a third game. They lost to two divisional rivals at that. I think people are kind of getting a little confused. Lions are a top team in the NFC still. Even though I don't think they're going to make it very far, they still are a top team. Let's give them the respect that they deserve. I don't. I think this is the game right here. Why it's plus eleven hundred? I think the Broncos went out after this, but this game at home, no weather. Jared Goff is in his prime, and then give me over in Jared Goff yards too. Honestly, yeah, uh, Trey might be onto something with this plus eleven hundred. I mean, if they get past this game, they've got the Patriots, the Chargers, and the Raiders. So yeah. that's. I mean, that might be three straight wins for them. Chiefs need to drop one, but it's very possible with the way the Chiefs are playing. Trey, who do you like in this game? Yeah, I really love the Broncos here in this game. It even uh, went down a point, so it looks like the people are betting on the Broncos because it was at 5.5 earlier. I'm going to take them here at 4.5. I love the Broncos in this game. I'm going to be taking them personally straight up. I love that we're getting points. This Lions team, they just look terrible at the moment. Uh, I mean, and the Broncos, they beat the Lions in three straight matchups. So historically, they own the Lions, and I do think it's going to continue here. Sean Payton has his boys buzzing. They have won six out of the last seven games. Make it eight out of the last nine here in this game. I think I think they're going to look really good. Uh, this Denver Broncos offense isn't world beating, but they don't turn the ball over, and their defense forces you to just nickel and dime down the field. And I don't know if Jared Goff is capable of nickel and diming uh, because he'll throw an interception before he throws a check down. So I love the Broncos here, plus four and a half. And player prop wise. I'm going to take David Montgomery anytime touchdown score. It is at minus 130. I love Montgomery in this game. He's been scoring touchdowns all season in this Broncos team. I love them here in the game pick, but their rush defense is very bad, worst in the NFL. So we have to expect Monty to find the end zone in this game. Yeah, uh, this is a site play for me, so I'm not going to give it out. If you guys want to see that, Bears Five Plays uh, is our website, but I will give a player prop. I'm going to go Javante Williams over. I feel like this is really low, 54 and a half rushing yards. I mean, have we watched the Lions' defense over the last three games? This should be easy. The Broncos love to establish the run game. I feel like that's a lock over 54 and a half at the player prop. But that is going to do it, guys, for our NFL plays. Yeah, Multiple mean. questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 